Welcome back. Continuing the news. Gratitude this evening from a domestic helper who's been receiving support since her story was featured in primetime news on Monday. Now, the mother of eight who has not been able to provide for her children due to the coronavirus crisis says a lot has changed. TVJ's Anthony Lug has more in this report. After months of having barely any food to eat, Crystal Clark smiles as she shares what the last four days have been like. I never knew that how a little Jamaica that we have here was so caring. Since TVJ News shared the story of the single mother of eight on Monday, hundreds locally and overseas have offered support. Some showed up at the Duane Park Primary School, as well as our offices on Linders Road in St. Andrew, to deliver food items and other things for Miss Clark. We can actually eat now, and I don't have to worry about them going to bed hungry anymore, because I have enough food can last me months, and food that I can actually give away same way to somebody else that want or in need just like me. The burden she bore for the last few years was heavy. With the support she has received over the last few days, some have been lifted. But that has not stopped the tears. My previous cry was sad cry. And this cry is happy cry. Tears, happy tears. And now to know that I can say what you want to eat tonight is a joy to me. Also a joy to her is that more time can be spent assisting her children with their schoolwork now that they have food. It's important to note that the three children who attend the Duane Park Primary School in St. Andrew did so for the first time in 2019 after Ms. Clark tried to register one of them. Colleen Reed Grant is the principal. When the team was doing the registration process for that child, who at the time was eight years old and should have been in grade three, the team realized that the child had never attended school, not basic school, not primary school. And so they escalated that immediately to my attention. I conducted an interview with her and immediately in ascertaining the background to the situation realized that there were actually more children of primary school age who were at home, not attending school, had never attended school. They were registered, and with the assistance of the teachers, they were quickly integrated into the system. But how did the children function? We were pleasantly surprised at how much the children knew. They were literate. The children could spell. They spoke standard Jamaican English. They were, in our opinion, well advanced for children who we had registered as students who had never attended school. I read a book that says, you know, when the babies are smaller, them eyes are gravitated to the color red. So the more red you put in front of them, them yes, yeah, so which is why we also color the word red. Interesting though is how Miss Clark did it. Everything that I teach them, I learn it myself. So it's like a process. So I'm teaching myself and I'm teaching them at the same time. And even now when they're at school, everything they learn at school, I learn it with them. Many Jamaicans would have attended an early childhood primary and secondary institution. But for Crystal Clark, that was not the case. It all began here at the Gregory Park Primary School in St. Catherine. She would then make her way to a high school also in St. Catherine. However, that was short-lived. Her children are doing very, very well. The child who is in grade one far exceed his peers. The child, the eldest that we have, we placed him in grade two at first in September. By October, we moved him to grade three. By November, he was placed in grade four. By the December exams, he placed 17th, beating out more than 50% of the grade four class that he was placed in. And by January, 
he made it onto the school's quiz team. Miss Clark's pockets may be empty and her house might be small, but her heart is big. And like any other parent, her greatest desire is to see her children excel in all their endeavors. They say from every bad situation comes good. And with all the support Miss Clark has been getting from her fellow Jamaicans over the last few days, she says she's now able to see light at the end of the tunnel. I just want to thank all Jamaicans overseas, everybody. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. I love everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you guys are the best. And I appreciate all of it. Anthony Logg, TVJ News.